guys, it's Lexi, and today I'm going to be doing a school-related video, but this is not my back-to-school series yet. Basically, this video is going to be kind of a tips and my experience surviving AP classes because this past school year I took five AP classes and then I took one each during freshman and sophomore year. So I've taken seven total AP classes and I'm about to take four more my senior year, so I feel like I know, you know, enough about it. I've passed all of them except one which was physics, you can see my like reaction to my scores. The ones I've taken are AP Human Geography, AP World History, AP US History, AP Statistics, AP Psychology, AP Physics, and AP English Language and Composition. So I'm going to be going through my top tips on what helped me in these classes, as well as answering some of the questions I got the most from you guys. So yeah, once again, this is just my experience. It might be different for you. The first tip is to do your reading, do your homework, turn stuff in on time. A lot of people just kind of push off, especially like projects to the last minute. But the thing is, you're still going to have to do it, whether you turn it in like when it's due or later. So you might as well turn it in when it's due and get full credit for it. And doing your homework is obviously really beneficial. In my a -push class, for example, we had reading, which we were supposed to take notes on every single night. And then the next class, we would have a quiz over what we read. But the thing is, most of the time, if not all the time, the quiz was open notes. So basically, if you did your notes, you would do like perfectly fine on the quiz but a lot of people wouldn't do the notes and then they continually fail but that's kind of on you you have to have a lot of motivation so definitely just do what you're supposed to do and also utilize class time because even if you're taking majority AP classes you probably have to take some sort of elective or class that's a little more laid back so when you have free time in there instead of just like talking to people or playing games on the computer try to get a head start on stuff that's due it probably doesn't sound that fun but you should do it a lot of videos like these ones kind of tell you to be organized create a planner put deadlines in and if that works for you great but personally i am so unorganized i have one folder for all of my stuff i don't keep a planner that's just not me so if that's you and it works go for it i've never been able to do that so just getting stuff done like as soon as i get it has helped me a lot also if your teachers ever you offer extra credit just do it because they won't always don't be afraid to utilize tutorials like i would go to some tutorials every single day some teachers would give extra credit for it and if your own teacher isn't helping very much you can go to other teachers like if there's more than one teacher for each subject in your school they may have a different approach to it and something that really helped me was using youtube some of my teachers like work the best. For example, it was their first year teaching the subject, so they were very familiar with it. So I would say go on YouTube and watch review videos. Crash Course has reviews for like a bunch of the histories, psychology. They help so much. Like always before tests, I would just binge watch a bunch of like Crash Course videos. They just kind of wrap things up and give you a summary of what you need to know for each test or unit. If your teacher is not that great, another thing is to get a prep book. Um, I didn't get a prep book for all of my classes. I only got a prep book for US History and I think it helps more for content based classes. Like if it's something like AP Calculus BC, I don't know if it would be that good to get a prep book or AP Physics for example because those things you kind of just have to learn how to do the problems and like do it with practice. If you are going to get a prep book, get it at the beginning of the year, not the end of the year. So that way you're able to get the most out of the prep book and you can use it as reviews for different sections rather than just at the end of the year. I had a lot of homework. A lot of you guys were asking how did you manage and balance all the homework along with the social life? Well, it's easy when you don't have a social life. I did spend a lot of my time doing homework and assignments and even on the weekends too, I would sometimes spend the whole day trying to finish a project. I think it's really great to have something you also enjoy paired up with studying. Like for me, I love listening to music, so I would put on like my favorite songs, like my SoundCloud stream while I was studying. I would actually sometimes look forward to doing my A-Push notes because I was able to just like relax in my room, put some like chill music on, and get it done. So whatever that may be for you, could be music, could be like a favorite snack that you reward yourself with, have something enjoyable to pair with studying besides just, you know, sitting down at a desk. And also in regards to studying slash homework, I think you should do the subject you like the least first. I took five AP classes, and there were some nights I would have homework in all of the classes. So my least favorite subject is probably physics, so I would try and do the physics thing first. So that way you're not like doing the others and thinking, I'm so far from finishing, I still have to do the physics, that's gonna be horrible. If you get the worst out of the way first, everything else is gonna seem easier and less miserable by comparison. And don't push yourself, like give yourself some free time. Even if you have a really hectic schedule, at least do like maybe a 15 minute meditation or take half an hour to watch a show you like. Because if you have no free time, you are going to go insane, I promise you. And if there's something that's not clicking, just don't push it, like there were times, I keep referring to physics because that was like my worst subject, but there was a night I spent six hours trying to figure out one physics topic, but I still didn't get it, and the next day I took the test and I got, I think a 59 on it, so 
clearly I didn't do amazing. If something's not working, just accept it and go to tutorials the next day or something. Or if your test is the next day, just know that one test is not going to make or break how well you do in that class. And just pushing it is probably going to make you more stressed out. Ah! Ah! This video is more about surviving the actual class, but one thing I would say for the AP test, if you do decide to take it at the end of the year, do lots of practice tests, practice problems, especially practice FRQs. For me, my junior year, the test I felt the most prepared for was probably statistics because my teacher made us do so much prep. I took like three total practice tests like all the way through with all the FRQs and I did maybe like 30 to 40 FRQs on my own. So that is a lot and then I would go through and self-grade them. We had to do that because it was like a major grade for us. Of course, like refresh on the material, but do go through and do actual parts of the test from previous years because essentially that's exactly what you're going to be doing. Doing that actually helped me get a 5 on statistics and the class that I didn't take any practice tests for at all, which is only one of them, was physics and that was the one I failed. Those are most of my general tips, but now I'm gonna like briefly answer some questions you guys left me on Instagram. Someone asked how many AP classes I had to take for high school requirements. My high school actually doesn't require any AP classes, so the answer is zero. You can just take them if you want to, but you could get college credit, and it's a really big bump to your GPA. I think like 100 in a regular class is equal to an 80 in an AP class. If you have a teacher who isn't effective at preparing an AP class, what is the best thing you can do to prepare for the exam? That just goes back to what I said about YouTube. Also, Quizlet's really helpful, and just various websites. Like, there was this one website I found for psychology that some teacher made, and it was so helpful. I will link it below. Utilize the internet. It's your best resource. When studying a whole entire course, what is the best way to memorize information? I know it's not for everyone, but cramming actually does work a lot for me. One other thing I forgot to mention is it will take time for you to adjust your AP classes. Like, during the first month, I was, like, overloaded. I was so stressed out. I had countless mental breakdowns. What's wrong with you, bro? What the heck? You tripping, bro. You tripping! <laughs> But get used to it and by like the second half of the school year it's like okay whatever I can do this and I sort of just had a swing of things. I actually had a friend who managed his stuff so well he took the same AP classes as me and he was able to finish like all his work during school so he had like no homework on the weekends. So I just say it definitely matters how you balance your time. How to deal with low scores. Someone said I got a two in AP Lang RIP. Don't let it define you. I mean it's just a it's just a number. I got a two on my physics test and I don't really care that much. Because essentially it's not determining whether you pass or fail in high school. It's just if you can potentially get some extra college credit. So if you fail, like you fail. And also Make sure to apply for fee waivers if you can. A lot of people were asking like, is AP US History hard? You're doing a lot of what seems like busy work in my opinion, but like the actual work itself is not that hard. That is it for this video. I can do specific like AP exam review prep videos if you guys want to see that, but I think that's going to be it for this kind of general video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any more questions that I didn't get to, just comment them below. Sorry it wasn't that like funny this video. I was just like in time school mode um yeah i'm about to start my senior year i know i don't look like a senior i get that comment and no i'm not like two months old i'm kind of excited i'm gonna do a little more school videos once my senior year starts like what colleges i'm applying to and like acceptance thing i will see you next week and make sure to subscribe like comment rate um bye it feels nice.